All right, so let's see how we can create a push button now. Now you can see that in this uh, element section, we don't have a push button specifically. We have a switch, bar, date. Uh, this is like a graphic, symbolic, button, and IO. So we'll use a normal button element here. All right. Now this button can be assigned a various different functions. So let's first rename this button and uh, name it as start. Okay. Now you have to double click the button and you will see its properties here. All right. In the properties, you will see there is no tag, op tag option. All right. Unlike the switch button, there is no tag option. So what you can do is you can just go to the events of this button. Now in the event of this button, you'll find click. All right. You'll find press, release, activate. So let me take press. So when we press the button, so here I can add some function. So the function I would write set while key pressed. All right. Because the push buttons or the momentary button says you have to turn on something when it is pressed not when it is released okay so click click this function and here you have to give the tag now now you have the tag, tag option so i'll quickly go to tag one of my plc and select it here so my tag one is given to this button now all you have to do is just download your hmi and we will see that overwrite all load and hence you will see the HMI it's being downloaded and let's check the monitoring screen and the HMI here now again I'll go to screen zero so this is my start so initially you can see here this button was pressed before now you will notice this button act as a push button okay so let me just open it again so when I press it Output is on. If I release it, output is off. Okay, so this is like a push button. That's like a normal push button. So that's how you can assign a push button function to the normal button in HMI. I hope this makes sense. And similarly, you can also use this button to work as a toggle button. We'll see that in the next video. Thank you.